what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i just want to talk about the instance or the issue i see between uh moviegoers and critics having a difference of opinion when it comes to the movie midsummer and other movies like midsummer such as the witch the autopsy of jane doe uh and several other movies that have come out recently that are not spoon feeding the audience all the information they're just leaving uh, hints and clues and they're kind of letting the audience figure it out for themselves because they're providing all the evidence right there in front of them um, another movie that comes to mind is hereditary which was also directed by Ari Aster Midsummer marks his second full feature film and it's kind of disappointing to see how many moviegoers are actually just so turned off by the movie and I really think this is just my opinion on the matter because no one has been able to prove to me otherwise I understand that there are people out there who simply do not like the movie and they understand it but then there are also a severe amount of people who watch movies like Midsommar they watch movies like Hereditary and they just completely disown them and want to write and mark them off as being bad films simply because it went over it went over their head the context of or the subject matter that was presented in front of them went over their head so then they want to write the whole entire film off as being a bad movie going experience when really it's not there's a lot more to it than you simply just understanding what was presented in front of you uh when i like when i review film uh because i do this on my downtime i write for a few small different websites i like to take into consideration the acting the uh cinematography the score the directing the visual effects the character development all the stuff and the components that go into filmmaking what i tend to run into is a lot of people who simply will say that a movie was bad or a movie was good even but have no nothing to show for it so it's not even to say that you need to always explain your explain yourself when you have an opinion but it's just a lot of people they have these opinions that formulate and they have no foundation for them so when you say a movie like midsummer is bad why is it bad i've asked several people why this movie is bad and i yet to get like a straight answer without someone reverting to the old stereotypical oh i didn't like this or i didn't like that and it's just tiring to me if you're gonna say a movie is bad you need to be able to explain that so vice versa if you're gonna say it's good i personally did not find midsummer to be a bad film whatsoever and not to go into any specific spoilers because i do want to do a review for it and i'm a little late i understand that but the film has some very good character development in regards to the two main leads i will admit that the rest of the cast felt a little underdeveloped but they served their purpose in the whole grand scheme of things if you're actually paying attention uh, i appreciate the fact that literally the entire story is getting told to us through a lot of imagery that's presented behind the characters uh, we're literally being told and walked through what's going to happen but then it's all still executed in such a horrific way that it's still very shocking so if you rewatch Midsummer, for those of you who have seen it I think you will notice what I'm talking about there's a lot of subtlety and a lot of symbolism in that movie that shows you exactly what is going to occur it's painting the picture for you and it still happens but it still leaves you very horrified just because of how sick and twisted i believe that film is the score in it again a, a very menacing score accompanying all the weirdness that's going on in that film i'm not going to lie there are a few moments that will spark laughter i laughed a few times during that movie because i found it to be very bizarre uh florence Pugh, the main lead uh she is she does an amazing job portraying someone who's on the verge of mental of a mental breakdown she has lost everything she has no one to turn to her friends are really not the best friends to even have in a situation like this she feels very alone and then she gets kind of like a very cathartic a, a cathartic end once the credits roll and a lot of people don't understand the ending and they don't understand a lot of the stuff that went on in the movie because they simply are not used to or they cannot stand the fact that a movie did not want to assume that they were in, unintelligent enough to actually pinpoint and put the puzzle together themselves. I appreciate when movies do not want to walk walk me through everything and have a character simply explain it all word for word. They're telling me and they're showing me what's going on through the imagery, through the scene to scene actions, through stuff that gets stated in the dialogue, through the imagery through just other things besides just telling me word for word what's happening i just like when a movie doesn't dumb itself down for me to simply catch on to what's going on because then what also happens is that leaves room for interpretation on a lot of the stuff that occurs in these films 
Midsummer is not a bad movie by any means. The cinematography in it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Ari Aster captures amazing shots, and this whole daylight in the daylight horror that he, this whole daylight horror of atmosphere that he had going for this movie, I think it worked in its favor. I also appreciate a lot of the uh, just the the twisted nature that was presented in the uh, film. I think the subject matter was very dark and twisted and at its core yes this is a breakup film many people want to argue against that but watching the movie you'll see exactly what what it's about it this is a breakup film there's no if ands or buts about it i'm firmly confident in saying that the movie regards two individuals who are in an unstable relationship it's on the verge of complete annihilation and they just refuse to accept that they're trying to continue it as if everything is all fine and dandy and they have everyone around them telling them to end it all but they just can't for whatever reason they have to keep living this toxic relationship uh one of them has no one else to turn to and the other one kind of just feels feels guilty about the whole thing and i i just wanted to get that out there i think there, another reason why many moviegoers are not a big fan of midsummer is just like what i said before no one no one likes to go to the movies to think anymore i feel like a lot of moviegoers these days they want to go to look at a movie that doesn't require too much brain activity they want to turn their brains off they want to have fun and then they want to leave so if a movie requires them to think they want to write the entire experience off as bad or useless or nonsensical when really that's not what it was it's the fact that the content went over your head and you didn't understand it if you didn't understand it that's fine but don't write the entire movie off as bad again this is all my opinion and I have yet to be proven wrong because I haven't come across a single person that can specifically state anything that was specifically wrong with the film outside of saying they just didn't like it. Okay, if you didn't like it, you should be able to articulate why. You should have like reasons why. And in my honest opinion, if you can't back up what you're saying, why even mention it at all? Those are my thoughts on this whole issue with why a lot of people don't like Midsommar. Uh, let me know what you guys think about Midsommar down in the comment section below. I'm not saying this is the best film ever. I'm not saying it by any means, but by no means is it also as bad as many moviegoers are saying it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the film down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.